And Adam, everybody, thank you for joining us right here on Wake Up Worcester. We're going to tell you about the two martini diet. Jerry Saluco with us. And Jerry, thanks for stopping by this morning. You betcha. This, this book, I mean, what a fun title. And here we are with the two martini diet. Tell me a little bit how you just came up with, with, with the title because the book itself is a very serious book on how we can lose some weight. Oh, very much so. That's a whimsical title, but the book is extremely uh, serious. Uh, actually, I used the term diet in the French, in the uh, genesis, the Greek genesis, which means manner of living. And that uh, when most people think of a diet, they think in terms of depriving themselves of things that they love. And they'll do that for a while and they'll lose weight, but they won't do it for very long. And consequently, it's gone. You really have to change the way you uh, live and, and not feel that you're being punished in, in doing this. And I never once did. Uh, in the two years that it took me to lose the 100 pounds, I've never once felt deprived. And I've had the weight off now for a year and a Boy, half. Wait, 100 so. pounds? I, can't, I mean, it's hard sitting here with you to imagine you 100 pounds heavier. Well, I, I mean, what, what, what happened? Was it just over time? And it was over time. Plus, I retired and, uh, as an airline pilot. You know, I didn't... Uh, uh, do physical work, but I always exercise because we had to right. uh, pass class one physicals, uh, which I did. But then after retiring, the weight kept going, and I had problems with the knee. And uh, my orthopedic surgeon friend did an orthoscopic surgery, and he's showing me all the artificial limbs that I could look forward to if I didn't oh, lose so weight. Terrific! Yeah, so there's so some said, incentive. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, so how did you come up with the two martini diets? Well, yeah, it's whimsical and it's fun. Uh, 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 but the truth is that the latest data from the medical world is that for most people, particularly seniors, a drink or two a day has medical value. Right. Uh, not for everybody. Pregnant women, no. And some people, one drink is more than they need. They don't know when to stop. But it does have a medical value. And they don't really know why. They used to think maybe it was the ingredients in wine, but it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Uh, it's ethanol is what we drink, the alcohol we drink. It uh, comes from fermented, uh, uh, from the fermentation, then you could distill it into higher, you know, um, heavier wow. alcohols. Uh, but uh, one or two drinks a day has uh, medicinal value for most people. So, so you're, part of what, what you're saying then is, is, hey, instead of depriving yourself and saying this is a diet, I, I'm, I'm immediately going to the water, I'm going to the crackers, and that's it, and it's, and it's a 1,200 calories a day, yeah, and, then the weight, and then the weight comes, because the oh, weight comes right work. back. Uh, you know, I, I, I have one uh, lovely lady that uh, when I, I told her, she said she, she lost 100 pounds. That's nothing. I've lost 1,000 pounds, but I always <laughs> gain it back. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, exactly. Why do, you, why do you think we're so 